What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the 1080p cloud comparison for Riders Republic on GeForce Now, Stadia, and Luna. GeForce Now is running 1080p 60 on the stream and 1080p 60 in game. Ultra settings, motion blur turned off. Stadia's 1080p 30 in game, 1080p 60 on the stream, motion blur turned off. Can't mess with their graphic settings, it is what it is. It appears to be under high though, more like a medium. We'll talk about that more. And Luna is 1080p 60 in game, 1080p 60 on the stream. High settings with motion blur turned off. Now I do have the RTX 3080 running on GeForce now, but whether I use that or the priority tier when I hop into a 3060, um, I'll get identical visual results, but the latency and overall experience on the 38 does feel more local, but visually the same. Now you can see here the texture quality difference immediately for Stadia, uh, just all around between the stream and the in-game textures. I really thought I would see more here with Ultra on GeForce now, Luna being on high, and then Stadia looking this way, they're not even really achieving the high setting. And at a lock 30, I kind of expected more when it came to the visuals. Now, Luna, again here, looking really, really good on their stream and in-game on high. But, of course, taking the cake at number one for this, whether it would be priority or 3080 tier, um, GeForce now would be top when it comes to cleanliness of the 1080p stream and the best graphics, lighting, shadows, and textures in-game, which makes a big difference. And as we zoom in here, you can see that GFN being the best looking at 1080, Luna, and then Stadia. Even without moving around, it's just the graphical fidelity that we have right there. And as we pan across the screen, you'll see Luna, and GeForce Now doing really well at holding a 60 FPS. Luna's got a little bit more stutter in the stream. GeForce Now is much cleaner on the Priority 3060 and on the RTX 3080 tier. And Stadia at the 30 FPS, not near as smooth and again, lacking in visual fidelity where I thought we would actually get higher here on this port. Um, maybe they'll add a 60 FPS mode that would at least help a little bit in the future. And going back over to Luna here as we pan across. And then over on to GeForce Now, which, uh, again, like I said, on the Priority 3060 or the RTX 3080, this game cranked up to Ultra. Motion Blur Off looks fantastic. Um, so as we get into it here, a little bit of motion, you're just you're going to continue to see these similar differences when it comes to the quality. Now, latency-wise, for me while I was playing, I thought all three were, were great. Stadia continues to have good input latency. Luna was great, and GeForce Now was, was really good. I would say GeForce Now was better than the other two, and it would be expected. Uh, whether you're No matter what you're on, if you're on the priority tier or the RTX and you have adaptive sync and everything, the latency now in the past week since them cranking this up has been amazing on GFN. It's going to be hard to beat but stadia and luna were pretty much on par uh, when it came to their latency and input lag from what it felt like no disconnects from anybody and the streams stayed fairly smooth and for cloud gaming i thought all three did a really good job it's nice to see all the different platforms get this game but definitely gfn's top of the line for running this at 1080p 60 luna and then stadia all right guys there's a lot more here for you to check out really appreciate you coming to watch the video as always and i'll see you in the next one